some time back, a friend of mine brought her daughter to my house. She had just started school. She was barely two years old. And she was given some homework. And she could not, for the life of her, figure out how to get her daughter to do the work. It had to do with tracing, coloring, and all the, all the works. She said to me that she was not sure if her daughter was OK or you know, if there was something wrong with her. I said to her that I'm sure that she's fine. So she came up, and we started working together. I brought up some games and some number cards, just the usual things, pegs, and she played with them. After playing for a while, I asked her to come over and start her work, so to say, and then she would trace number one. You know, she could barely hold a pencil. She would trace number one, you know, the best way that she could. And then we would go on and play more games, fix a puzzle, you know, do one or two things. And then I'll ask her to come over and do number two. And then she'll come over and then she will trace number two. We went on and on the first day until we were able to at least get through with that paperwork. And she went back home. And her mom asked me what happened. How did I do it? Because for the past, I don't know how many hours, she had you know, tried to get her to sit down to do the work. So I said, all I did was to bring some things out, things of interest, things she liked. And we just played with them. And all was done. She could not believe it. But one thing struck me, that play, the way she saw the play was what registered in her. And that was why she wanted to do more and more of the work. So the next time it happened at home, the next time she was given some work, her mom called me. And we went through on and on. The girl I speak about now is about seven, seven years plus. And she saw me a few weeks ago, and she was asking me, do you still have your games? Can I come over and play with your games? And that actually still registered more you know, in me. And I thought, OK, she remembers playing these games. She remembers doing all the fun things. But she has never asked me to come and do her homework you know, in my house. This led me into thinking more of how to help children to learn in fun ways. So I delved into research here, there, and I looked up how to help children to actually have fun learning while they're learning. So this takes me to my talk. Play is very important. It's the most important thing. Play is a drive. Play, a need, is a brain-building must-do. It is not something you want to put by the side. It is not something you do after you have done. Play is the way children learn. Why play? Play is a means of engaging oneself in something you enjoy doing. So if play is a way of engaging oneself in something you would actually enjoy doing, then why not just apply it? Play helps children to learn. Play is a way that they can stick to what they are, what they are doing. It helps them to develop, to grow, to develop the different skills that they have within them. It helps them to be lifelong learners. And that is exactly what we want to do with the children that we have. Learning through play. Children can only learn through play. That's the 
it's not an option. It's not something we do after, as I said. It is the only way children learn. There are different types of play. There's active play. This involves sports, outdoors, you know, and the like. There's actually something called manipulative play. Children use their hands, they use puzzles and different activities to put up this play. There's construction involved, blocks, building, bricks, and all the works. Creative play. This is one of my favorites. It involves, involves music, arts, dance, drama, audio, visuals, and, and their works. The slide up here, a child actually came to me and gave me you know, something she had created. It was quite interesting. She made a snail out of clay. And I was quite impressed. This was a three-year-old. It was quite interesting. Make-believe play. Make-believe play is when children are able to take themselves from where they are and create something different. A scene, for example. Role play. Being something that you're really not. Pretending. Learning through books through games, through counting, through letters. And this is where mostly we try to start from instead of starting from the little things. Now, if children have learned how to learn from the beginning, it will be easy for them to read. It will be easier for them to write. If you remember the, the, the story I cited about my friend, the first thing she was given was reading, writing, coloring, tracing, instead of being given the little things that will make her interested in the reading and the writing and the coloring and the tracing. And this is where we want to, what we want to work on. After reading a story to the children, they began to get books by themselves to read. We don't have to look for the hard things to work with the children. We can always use the things around. A child here is using oranges, which is commonly seen in the market, and bananas to make patterns. So they're not the expensive things. Learning about weight and capacity the children use water, sand to put this up. Some started typing their names on the computer. Some started writing their names on the computer. Some started uh, number recognition on the computer. It was really educative. So when we say children are playing, it depends on what definition we give play. Learning through play is the way children are able to learn. The children here are tracing. Now, I think this is one of the things that should have been given to my friend's uh, daughter. She was, they just traced in gari, cassava flour, or they traced in powder, or they traced in to develop their motor skills before they start holding pencils, before they start holding crayons, so their muscles are strong enough to actually do the work they are meant to do. Learning about fruits, the children bring fruits. They talk about the color. They talk about what they can do with it. And at the end of the day, of course, why talk about fruits if you can't have a fruit salad? So they went on and made fruit salads. The skills for life are not learned behind desks. They are learned through play. Thank you very much.